All right. I played Bless for over 12 hours now, and I think that's enough time to give a first impressions review. I have to say, at times, I was pretty impressed with what Bless had to offer me. There are some good ideas here, and with some minor tweaks, they could become much more enjoyable. However, the negative things greatly outweigh the positives. Quick disclaimer, I am aware that this is an early access title, so please keep those kind of com comments to a minimum. Also, I only played the Guardian class and I got to level 32 as well. I'll start off with the overall launch of the game. Blessed developer NeoWiz stated to the players before launch that there would be one server for NA and one server for EU. This is fine. I'm happy that they at least tried to keep all of the players consolidated to one server. Unfortunately, it didn't work though, and they had to establish new servers to meet the demand of the players. Problem is, if you happen to have made a character on a different server and your friends didn't get in or vice versa, you were locked out from playing with them due to server limits being reached. It's understandable why people will be upset from this. They, want, they won't be able to play with their friends and guildies in an MMO. Now, NeoWiz has to deal with tons of support tickets over this, an issue that could have easily been solved with a little communication. If NeoWiz had told us from the beginning exactly what their backup plan was, a lot of people would have been prepared to change servers if needed. A lot of this could have been avoided, but now we have a lot of people inconvenienced. The queue times and the server disconnections are also in full effect, but here I let NeoWiz slide because this is expected from an MMO launch. Anyone complaining about server maintenance on day one is clearly out of their mind. Anyways, let's talk about the actual game. And there's a big problem, but I'll get to it in the end. The first problem is that it's really a pain in the ass to get in the actual login screen of the game. When you log in, there's a chance that your game will hang on this blessed screen. If you see this screen for longer than five seconds, congratulations, your game has basically crashed. You must restart your client and try again. I've had this happen to me over 22, yes, 22 times in a row this morning, and I still have not been able to log in. It's honestly quite a terrible experience to have to sit here and relaunch a game over and over again. RNG inside of a game is fine, but RNG to connect to the fucking game is a completely fucking different story. But if I ever finally get into this game, I saw that everything was working fine until I actually read a game text file. The translations. Oh my God, the translations in this game. Where do I begin? They aren't just bad translations. They are literally broken. Like Google translations that some guy made for a foreign client. Like, look at this. When you go to receive something from your mailbox, you press the gift button. You press the gift button to receive mail. The thing I really don't understand is that the translations for the cutscenes are fine, but the menu, skills, items, and such have absolutely terrible translations. There's even bad translations when you level up. You have obtained three level. What is that? I really think poor translations can be overlooked, but, but this is a little much. It shows the level of quality assurance that NeoWiz has, and it's very frightening. Next up, the combat system. And I'm gonna say something positive here. I do like the combat system. I get what they are going for and I do think it has potential. For those of you who haven't played, the way the combat system works is you attack with one of three starting options which change into three other options which change into a finisher or two finishers. I think the way that the system is set up is fine and it also allows for some build variety, especially when you look at the specializations that are possible for each ability. For example, if an ability has a damaging effect, you can choose to increase the damage or decrease the cooldown. I think that's pretty cool. There's just a few tweaks that I would make to make the combat system better. A big issue with the combat system is misses, you know, like when you miss an attack. Maybe this won't be so prevalent later at later stages of the game, but when you miss, it ends your combo chain. So let's say you do your starter ability and then the next chain ability, but the ability misses. Now you have to start the chain over from the start. It makes the game feel really awkward when this happens and goes against your muscle memory. If they just made it where missing doesn't affect the chain and you can still use the abilities following it accordingly afterwards, I think it will work a lot better. Another thing is that you have some skills that are not connected to the combo system. These skills act on their own with their own cooldowns and can be used whenever you like. 
when they're off cooldown, of course. There's six total for each class and you can only have four equipped at a time. You can also level them down different paths to change them just like other skills. This adds more variety to the skill system, which is great. Only thing about these skills is that you cannot use them while you're already using a combo. If you do, it resets the chain. What it should allow for is the player to use these abilities anytime and have it not affect the chain. This will make them flow much more naturally while also increasing the skill gap in the game, allowing players to add even more layers to their combos. Like I said, I'm fine with the combat system so far. These two changes would definitely make it better and I could see it being almost as enjoyable as Final Fantasy XIV combat system if that were the case. Now, here's the reason why I cannot recommend this game to anyone. The FPS, I cannot forgive. The FPS is atrocious. It's disgusting. It's dreadful. When in the open world, the FPS dips very low, even when there aren't other players on the screen. And when there are other players, oh my God, it's terrible. I have no idea how large scale PVP is going to operate under these circumstances. But as of right now, there is no way this game will be playable in those environments. Don't tell me to try to use the FPS fixes on Reddit because I already did. It didn't help. Don't tell me it's because of my computer because there are tons and tons of people who are also experiencing these issues. The bottom line is that this FPS issue is inexcusable and that this issue is not fixed and soon bless will not last long in the West. So those are my impressions of the game. I'm still going to be playing it because I do want to experience some open world PVP. I never got a chance to do that. So you guys can definitely get my impressions of a lot of PVP, you know, after I get a lot of PVP under my belt. Let me know what you guys think of Bless Launch in the comments. Uh, please try not to be toxic. I know you guys can't help yourselves because you're all toxic, but whatever. It's your boy Hero. See you guys next time. Make sure you check me on Twitch. Peace.